Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Lock in your copy of the Currency Exchange Planner, the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the dinar community. Starting today mention the denarian and get the mobile app added onto the planner package for free in addition to the extra 20% off for my subscribers. Start the new year off right. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being today. I recently did a video on the new Carrot Bar Savings Program. If you have not seen it yet, go check it out. Now is the time to get involved so I can help you to protect your money from the pending upcoming financial crash. It's free to register and you will be ahead of everyone else as de-dollarization occurs. Get yourself set up today and be a part of my savings team of tomorrow. Make sure you don't lose everything in your regular bank accounts owned by the crooked banksters that don't care about you. The Carrot Bar program is the true future of money. It is a gold savings program that takes the blockchain technology to the next level to protect your savings. It is literally the ultimate hedge against a market crash. You have the opportunity of a lifetime to get in on the ground floor of this program with me. Do yourself a favor and start backing your hard-earned cash with gold. The Carrot Bar program and the Currency Exchange Planner work hand-in-hand hand with each other in protecting your finances. The link to the Carrot Bar program and the Currency Exchange Planner are in the description drop down below. I encourage you, stay ahead of the rest, take the initiative, and join me today on the blockchain-based Carrot Bar program and let me help you to start off the year right. In addition to the Denarian Facebook page, I am posting on the Denarian blog as well. Go check it out. All the links are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today. Kurdish lawmaker. The agreement between Baghdad and Erbil is ready for signing and is awaiting the next prime minister. On Sunday, the MP from the Kurdish group Salim Hamza revealed the details of the agreement between Baghdad and Erbil regarding the 2020 budget noting that the agreement is ready for signature by the next Prime Minister. Hamza said in a statement to Information that Baghdad and Erbil have reached final understandings regarding the management of the 2020 budget, but the current conditions will delay the signing of the agreement. He added, Erbil will commit to delivering oil to Baghdad on a daily basis without any delay while Baghdad will pay the salaries of the region's employees and support service projects in the region. Hamza explained, the only remaining technical point is an understanding on how to transfer the region's oil to SOMO in Baghdad while Erbil is waiting for the formation of a government in order to approve the budget and sign the agreement once and for all. Next article of interest, Iran resorts to cyber war to counter U.S. military supremacy. Security analysts expect Iran to target American interests with sabotage cyber attacks in an attempt to take revenge after the Quds Force commander Qasim Soleimani was killed in an American raid. Iran's pirates will try to attack American infrastructure, because Tehran does not have the ability to counter U.S. military supremacy. John Holkist, director of intelligence analysis for the FireEye Electronic Company said he expected to see pirates try to spy on government systems and carry out sabotage attacks targeting the private sector. Iranian pirates have in the past carried out attacks targeting several American financial institutions, including the New York Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq Stock Exchange from 2011, until the computer systems breach of the New York City Dam in 2013. They have also tried to storm American facilities factories and oil and gas facilities, said Robert Timley, CEO of Dravis Industrial Control System Security. Iran has one of the most active cybersecurity programs, and Tehran focuses on building its electronic capabilities, because its traditional military capabilities do not match the power of the American states. Christopher Krebs, director of the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Agency, called on Twitter to pay close attention to industrial systems security. He linked his warning to a previous statement by the agency in which it referred to malicious electronic activity directed to industries and government agencies in the United States by actors and agents of the Iranian regime. 
a group of pirates that said was Iranian penetrated the website of a U.S. government agency on Saturday and published messages threatening revenge for Soleimani's death. Trump had ordered the strike in which Soleimani was killed Friday and the deputy head of the Popular Mobilization Forces in Iraq, Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis, was killed. Trump warned Tehran that Washington had set 52 Iranian targets representing the number of American hostages that Iran had held for years, some of which are of great importance to Iran. These goals in Iran itself will be hit very quickly, and with great force. Next article of interest. Iraq Parliament Wants to Expel U.S. Troops the Iraqi parliament urged the government Sunday to expel 5,200 American troops in the country as a protest to the U.S. drone attack that killed a top Iranian general at the Baghdad airport. The Shiite majority in the parliament voted for the resolution calling on the caretaker government to end the bilateral agreement with the U.S.-led coalition to station troops on Iraqi soil. Iraqi Parliament Speaker Mohammad al haldousi noted that the agreement cannot be terminated without a one-year grace period. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo expressed doubt that the U.S. forces would be expelled, telling Fox News, We are confident the Iraqi people will want the U.S. to remain. The U.S. and Iraq agreed to the reintroduction of American troops in Iraq four years ago to help in the fight against Islamic State terrorists. That came after all U.S. forces had earlier been withdrawn from the 2003 U.S. invasion that eventually toppled Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein, an incursion based on the erroneous premise that he possessed weapons of mass destruction. Several dozen mostly Shiite members of the Iraqi parliament chanted against the U.S. and in favor of Iran and its slain military commander Qasem Soleimani before Sunday's vote. Parliamentary resolutions are non-binding. But caretaker Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi had earlier urged Parliament to take urgent measures and end the presence of foreign troops as soon as possible. The Prime Minister called on lawmakers to act because of what he said were breaches of the troop agreement after the U.S. attacked a militia base and came, which killed 25 Shiite militiamen, and the drone strike on Suleiman Iskar as he left the Baghdad airport. But he said any decision on U.S. troops must make sure that Iraq's national interests and security are not damaged. A total of 173 of the Iraqi parliament's 329 members attended Sunday's legislative session, with many Sunni and Kurdish lawmakers staying away, possibly because they opposed the American troop withdrawal. Riyadh Mohammad Ali al Masudi, member of the Iraqi parliament, told VOA's Kurdish service, we do not want to create a political or security void in this regard. What do we really want, is to preserve the Iraqi sovereignty and political future of the country. We hope this agreement will serve in the interests of Iraq, and will not be used against Iraq. Meanwhile Lebanon's pro-Iranian Hezbollah leader Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah delivered a fiery speech to his supporters in Beirut urging the Iraqi parliament to expel the U.S. from their country and insisted that the crime of killing Qasem Soleimani must be avenged. Iraqi Foreign Minister Mohammad Ali Hakim also sent a complaint to the President of the UN Security Council and the UN Secretary General to protest the U.S. attack on a Shiite military base near Iraq's border with Syria and the killing of Soleimani and Shiite militia commander Mohans. Next article of interest. al Hashemi. Parliament today cancelled the 2016 agreement, not 2008, no evacuation of the American forces. Hisham Hashemi, an analyst and researcher in security affairs, confirmed today, Sunday, that the Parliament cancelled the 2016 agreement, not 2008, indicating that the vote on it does not mean the evacuation of the American forces. Hashemi said, in his tweet on Twitter, that the parliamentary session today was voted on by a parliamentary decision stipulating the cancellation of the 2016 agreement that provides for Iraq's membership in the international coalition against ISIS. He pointed out that, and there is no evidence to evacuate the U.S. or foreign forces, and also the parliamentary decision is far from cancelling the Iraqi-American Agreement 2008. Next article of interest. 
Deputy, we received threats if we abstained from voting to remove American forces from Iraq. On Sunday, Rep. Sarkat Shems al-Din confirmed that he received death threats if he abstained from voting to remove the American forces from Iraq in today's parliament session. Shems al-Din told al Akbaria that he had received threats from within the lawmakers regarding the passage of the law to remove American forces from Iraq. He added that the international coalition has stopped all support, as well as NATO, who bears that responsibility by weakening the Iraqi army. He explained that Mosul cannot survive for hours without the presence of the American forces that support construction and protect the areas from ISIS attacks. Next article of interest. An Iraqi lawmaker asks Abdul Mahdi for guarantees and asks, Are our neighbors our friends or our masters? The Iraqi MP, Ahmed Mutiawul al Jarba, today, Sunday, during a parliament session, asked questions of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi after the end of his speech in which he recommended ending the American presence in the country. The Iraqi MP said, Are our neighbors our friends or our masters? Will we hand over the capabilities of Iraq to the hands of the neighboring countries? He added, Is there a guarantee and ability of the government and security services to maintain security and the criminal gangs will not return to the country's provinces? He continued, Will we respect and support the security services, or will some parties work to strengthen some factions and make them stronger than the state? noting that these words are directed to all provinces in Iraq and demanded the withdrawal of any faction trying to blackmail the provinces and replace them with military sectors. He also called for keeping Iraq away from all conflicts and not making it an arena for conflicts and settling international accounts. He concluded by saying that he wanted guarantees in what was mentioned, and that all decisions that will be issued are for the benefit of all Iraqis and all governorates and not a province without another. Next article of interest. The Saudi defense minister visits Washington and London to discuss calming the situation in Iraq. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has issued directives to Deputy Minister of Defense Prince Khalid bin Salman to perform an official visit to the United States and the United Kingdom in the next two days, according to the newspaper Ashark al-Assad, quoting informed Saudi sources. The sources, which were not disclosed by the newspaper, said that Prince Khalid bin Salman will meet in the United States with senior officials in the White House and the Ministries of Foreign Affairs and Defense, in the framework of the Kingdom's endeavor to exert all efforts aimed at common restraint, and ward off everything that leads to an escalation of conditions, including ensures to enhance the security and stability of the region. Both the United States and Iran exchanged threats, after Washington launched a raid against the most prominent Iranian military, General Qasem Soleimani, and Tehran vowed a harsh response to the killing of the commander of the Quds Force and the Iranian Revolutionary Guard in Iraq. Next article of interest. Iraq awards projects under oil for reconstruction deal with China. Iraq and China have started implementing oil for reconstruction agreement to create a $10 billion fund to finance infrastructure and other projects in the Arab country, news reports said. Iraq has started shipping crude oil to Chinese companies as part of an agreement which provides for Baghdad to pay in crude for projects to be executed by Chinese firms, Alec Desad News said. It quoted Cabinet Economic Advisor Mata Arsale as saying Chinese firms have started work on two unfinished projects involving fuel and power supply north of the capital Baghdad and in South Iraq. The agreement has just been implemented there will be a series of projects which will be executed by Chinese companies after the 2020 budget is approved, he said. He said the agreement provides for funding of projects in infrastructure and other sectors, including roads, rail, housing, ports, hospitals, schools, energy, power and water, dams, telecommunications and transport. Officials said last month that under the 20-year agreement Iraq will supply China with 100,000 BPD of crude oil. The two countries agreed to set up such the fund during a visit to Beijing and set by Iraqi Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. Next article of interest. Abdul Mahdi, 
After America's exit from the nuclear agreement, a political proposal was presented to us, either with me or against me. The resigned Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi, confirmed on Sunday that the United States of America has presented the Iraqi government politically, either with me or against me, after its exit from the nuclear agreement. Abdul Mahdi said in a message presented to the House of Representatives and seen by the agency slash information, that America has become more strict on the Islamic Republic of Iran after its exit from the nuclear agreement and has practiced a policy towards Iraq with me or against me and there is no other option between them. He added that the government informed the Americans that Iraq is difficult to clarify any position, noting that America dealt with Iraq according to the point of view of its conflict with Iran in most of the files. Hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit my new blog and find me on Facebook, so you get the news in real time as it breaks literally throughout the day. Harness the power of the currency exchange planner the number one tool made by denarians for denarians. Use the promo code THEDENARIAN for the additional pre-negotiated discount and the mobile app added at no charge for my subscribers. Get on board the blockchain gold savings carrot bar program today. You don't have to wait until you're filthy rich to get involved. It's free, and the program was made so anyone can save in gold and avoid the repercussions of the possible upcoming market crash one of the true forms of money away from the fiat system. Protect your family's wealth today. I would not steer you in the wrong direction. Think about it, I would be shooting myself in the foot. I would not recommend something I do not stand behind and believe in 110%. Did you ever hear the term, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? The links are in the description below. Get involved now. Knowledge is power. Over and out for now. The Denarian.